Yo. So I hope you guys can hear me. You should be able to. And it is, yeah, I'm trying to, I was trying to get this all set up, but, um, yeah. So I'm doing this thing. I want to be doing it, um, every morning when I wake up because I do it anyways. So I might as well record it because my friends on Discord, they actually, my voice is allowed to from speaking to them and screaming last night, but they actually watched, um, they wanted to watch me like how I go through my morning with all my MMA news because they every morning they ask me, hey, yo, what's the deal with MMA today? So I was like, hey, why not show you guys what I go through and just like, you know, commentate a little bit on it and have some fun, man. Because who doesn't love MMA? Who doesn't love these bar... These guys are risking their lives. People call it barbaric and everything else, but they're risking their lives. They're modern day gladiators. Give them the respect and give them a fucking view, Okay. Watch what they're watch what they're doing. Give them some respect, man. That's the least you can do. That's the least you can do to somebody that's giving their lives. You know what I mean? Giving up their like risking their lives for us for our entertainment. They love to do it, but at the same time, you gotta respect that, man. Like look right here, fighter dies cutting weight. You know, this is what I'm talking about, people. This is what I'm talking about. I mean, let's see this story. It's pretty ridiculous. A fighter has died from cutting away. News came over. <clears throat> Chris Cyborg, uh, the lady that they made the 145 division division for almost died cutting down to 135 multiple times and it has caused permanent injury on her kidneys. I mean, this is a serious problem, weight cutting. If you're walking around at 200 plus pounds, you shouldn't be cutting down to 170 in a couple weeks. That's not how it works, man. So, John Jones is repping Nike gear? Hell yeah. Get rid of that Reebok shit. Everybody hates that. Yeah, there's nothing really uh, too much on here. But uh, how about that Floyd and McGregor fight, guys? Huh? <laughs> it finally got announced, yeah? Let's get all this out of here. Yeah, this, this, um, I was reading up on this. Yeah. Tim Haig. Um, yeah, critical condition after losing in a boxing match. See, people don't understand the difference between boxing and MMA. They think little gloves, it's very barbaric and everything. No, no. It's less humane than going 12 rounds, 3 minute rounds, 12 times, and getting little pit pats, pit pats, little hits, big hits, little hits. You don't give your brain a chance to recover. MMA is either 3 5 minute rounds or 5 5 5 five five minute rounds and the damage other than cuts and everything else is basically if you're gonna get hit you're gonna get knocked out if someone connects clean you're gonna get knocked out and the reason why is because of your jawline and the nerve bundles right here in your jawline if your jaw moves down side to side or anything like that you're out that's not causing brain injury that's that, that'll fuck up your jaw don't get me wrong and it will mess up your brain long term but there hasn't been anything proven with MMA that they're having brain injuries because a lot of the times, if it, it ref, if it's ref correctly, one knockout is gr is good, is great because you can recover from it, let your brain recover. In boxing, they'll get knocked down, knocked out, come back, and we're talking twelve rounds. We're, this is like an hour long fight of just getting hit. Hit, hit, hit. Like they said, for CTE, it's it's the million of little hits that do the damage. Or the thousands of little hits that do the damage. But those big concussions, once in a while, once every six months, one, one hit, is, that's a lot better. Because you give your, chance, your brain a chance to recover. That's why, look at these guys' careers. Look at Randy Couture. He's a fucking lawyer. You know? How many times has Randy Couture been knocked out? Tons of these people have been knocked out multiple times. My, my mouth's dry, I'm sorry. But 
look their their careers afterwards they recover fine how many look at Muhammad Ali my role model the tragic fate that, ha that happened with him with boxing you know if if they need to change boxing man they need a, those those padded gloves just because they're padded doesn't mean it's anything better your brain's still getting sloshed around out there you can just last longer so the outside looks good but the inside's still getting sloshed around anyways off topic let's see here what else we got uh, so have you guys seen this <laughs> Andre Ward and Sergey Kovalev fought last night. How about this? Did anyone else see this? I guess not. You didn't try to talk about This is a good fight. I don't want to spoil it for you guys. I'll show you a little bit of it. But look at Andre Ward. Look at that head movement. Such an intelligent boxer. Such an intelligent... Look, he's backing himself up in the corner on purpose. Always look at his look at his back foot. You see that right here? Watch his, watch his back foot. You see that, how it's cocked like that? He's always ready to throw that counter. So, Holly Home. Did you guys see the Holly Home fight? She's back. She's back. She's fucking back, man. Head kick. Hi, everybody. We're here in Singapore. Shout out, Bruce Buffer. The only thing I want to see from Bruce Buffer is in. You know what I mean? In the ring where he's like, it's time! That's all I want to hear. I don't want to hear anything else I'm man has to say. Bro, but this head kick, listen to this shit. Listen to this shit. Question mark kick, right? Basically, Correa, she was taunting Holmes. Like, come on, come on, come on. Holmes went to throw a kick, and she went to block like this, kind of. Correa did, but Holmes, instead of throwing the kick sideways, threw it like straight up. It was like a bolo kick. You know, like a bolo punch is an uppercut uh, hook. Well, it was like that with the kick, and it came up at a weird angle, threw her guard, shin to the dome. Shin out, out. And then she was like, don't hit me high on the ground, like half out of it, like don't hit me. Holly Holmes uppercutted her, bro. Fucking uppercutted her. She deserved that fucking win, man. That shit she's been going through. Hi, Connor. You should oh, Joanna. Joanna showing out. What are you doing, Joanna? What are you doing, Joanna? What are you doing, you sexy beast? Joanna the chip. Paige Van Zandt. She always does unorthodox. Look at Look at this. Unorthodox training. Tons of it. Tons of it. I like. I like it though. I like all these unorthodox things that the trainers are doing lately. You know, I figure, fuck this guy. I'm gonna, let me go get a lighter. One second and a coffee. You guys, uh, watch this for a second. I hate your eye paper shit. Still on your eye of favor? Oh my god. Finally. Oh, Daniel Cormier, I forgot. That's the next fight. That's like next week? No, it's coming up in a couple weeks. End of this month. DC versus John Jones. As you all know, DC, he's, he's playing, you know, the good guy here in John Jones. 
hit a pregnant woman up. while driving coked up in a Bentley. Yeah, don't uh, failed multiple drug tests for cocaine. But he's still the best fighter in the world. <laughs> Casignano. Oh, I can't. Oh my gosh, he's so sexy. Dude. She's like, her. Dude, she's just so thick. You, you guys ever see her in a bathing suit, Casignano? Oh. This is her no makeup and everything. She's so gorgeous, bro. Oh, she's fucking sexy, bro. I, oh my god, that kid is so lucky to have Kat Zangana on top of her, bro. The kid just hit puberty five years early. <laughs> oh, man. What else do we get? So what's this? I think I was watching this earlier. Some more news updates. Mayweather will destroy you. People tell me. Yeah, yeah, no. Chris Van Herden definitely. Look at this. Watch, watch Chris right here. Look at him sticking him in the face. Look, watch his stick. He just landed a right straight on Connor, bro. Look at this. Beast and Connor. Damn. Yeah, edited footage. Oh shit, that's see, he helped him get the fight with McGregor, and McGregor's just gonna. I mean, he made he made Conor's life. Conor's gonna make over a hundred million on that fight. Imagine that. You're not gonna. He's not gonna fight again. There's no way. Four years ago, Conor was collecting checks from welfare for three hundred twenty-five dollars. Now he's making a hundred million plus a fight. People don't give up on your dreams. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> hey, a South Carolina native right here, Stephen Thompson. We are here at the Infinity Pool. Yep, showing out MC again. 111. Yeah, this dude. Yeah, so all right, beautiful. all right, pal. That is nasty, though. Did you say that? that was sick? I gotta give it to him. Yeah, yeah. Okay, thanks for your VIP experience, bro. I thought you'd be humble, maybe. Just got done with our signing here in Singapore, hanging out with my buddy Chris Verbino, Sweet Tea. It was hot, boy, it was hot, but the fans were awesome. It was Had hot. a great time it hanging out hot. with them, that's why we do what we it do. It was hot, it was hot, that's why we do what we do, baby. Yeah, he's from South Carolina. <laughs> Another unorthodox fighter. I love his training. Look at this guy. I, I truly believe he deserves to fight Connor. Him, right after Nate, again. Look at this, Woo, that cartwheel kick. Look at that cartwheel kick, bro. That's some scary shit. Look, look at T-Ferg. El Chichua. El Cacua. El Cacua. What does that mean in, in Spanish? Leave a comment. Let me know. I uh, forget what that means. Like like the the nightmare or something? Oh, uh, bro. Imagine having him in front of you. you know, it, don't imagine for long because it wouldn't be for long. <laughs> Joanna the champ. European Central Time. Make sure you're gonna talk to me uh, live. Ooh, so sexy. Yeah, yeah. So sexy. So sexy. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this testosterone filled room. A bunch of fucking wannabes. Nobody cares about any of you guys. <laughs> Rock old. Dude, I believe this guy, I believe Rockhold has it in him, man. He's just scary, he's just scary, he's scary for his weight class. He really is, man. Look at that technique, beautiful technique. He hides that kick so well. This is, this is a good part. This is like a funny take. <sighs> Bro, they can't be showing me these MMA girls right now. GSP? It's GSP. Look at GSP out there partying. Yeah? Alright, guys. I hope you liked it. 
Uh, I'll probably do more because I watch MMA every morning to catch up on it. And uh, yeah, might as well keep doing this. But uh, thanks for watching, you know. Uh, like, leave a comment below, subscribe. Um, definitely, if anybody comments and anybody does anything like it or whatever, any views, anything that shows that somebody watched this and likes it, I'm going to do it again. All right. So, uh, yeah. Uh, let me know what you guys want to see, you know, some feedback or whatever, because it's my first time really doing like a like a commentary reaction uh, news type thing so uh, yeah let me know how you like it man and I'm gonna be back to gaming stuff later today finally have some fiber optic internet so most of the stuff I'm gonna be doing is live so uh, make sure you subscribe and on twitch too, uh, go to econ TV alright take care guys